Sissy, right now we're at Capernaum. We're pretty sure because of the ruins here in the synagogue and what they have found, that this is Capernaum, that this was Jesus' headquarters, and this is where he lived during much of his ministry. Probably one of the, the best known stories is the, the crippled man who came to Jesus, his friends carried him on his bed, and Jesus is in a home, he's teaching. And uh, there's so many people you can't even get to the door. And right somewhere in this area, Sissy, these men were so frustrated they couldn't get in. But you know, it didn't stop them. These are pretty smart guys. They climb up on the roof and they just start taking the roof up. And they stood over top of Jesus and they took their friend on their mattress and they just let him down right smack dab in front of Jesus. And Jesus saw that faith. And that's what he wants to see. He wants to see faith. He said to the crippled man, I tell you, get up, take your mat and go home. He got up and took his mat and he walked out in full view of all. And this amazed everyone and they praised God. And they said, we've never seen anything like this before. As I reflect on where we are and what we're seeing, I'm moved by the bigger picture. Yes, it's exciting to physically walk where Jesus walked, but it's even more thrilling to follow his example and answer his call on our lives. To be set apart, to be a light in the darkness, and to make a difference in this world. We're here on the hills above Galilee, and this is the traditional place where many people say the Sermon on the Mount was given. On the Sermon on the Mount, chapter 5 of Matthew, in verse 13, Jesus said, you're the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and to be trampled by men. He goes on to say, you're the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Think about salt. Salt is used for preserving. And Jesus is saying if your salt loses its saltiness, what good is it? We are to let our light shine before men. So people see that we're not conforming, we're not trying just to be like the culture, be like the world, we're different. And they see our good works, they see our good deeds, and they praise our Father in heaven. And so Christians need to take a stand. Uh, we're not just to hide and put our light under a bushel. Mm -hmm.